guys and welcome back. It's the end of July and July is the only month that it makes me really sad for it to be the end of because it's my favourite month, my birthday is in July um, and it's summer and it just makes me sad. However, I am getting married this month in August which is exciting so I have stuff to look forward to. I don't know what I am chatting about. Seriously, stop this random chat now. Um, so, I am very, very excited about my monthly favourites this month. I seriously, I think, I don't think I've ever been so excited about all of the products in my monthly favourites video. It's been a month of discovery in many areas. So I am going to tell you about what I've been loving this month. So first of all, there is quite a bit of makeup actually. There's a lot of face products going on right here. There's a lot of powder. Well, not a lot, but a few. Um, the first thing is my Soap and Glory, Clop Glory, my Soap and Glory Glow All Out Highlighter. This stuff is amazing. I'm not a huge highlighter junkie. Like, I'm not one of those people that constantly, like, has highlighter. I'm not, like, wearing it every single day. It's not my essential, like, can't live without highlighter type products. That would be mascara and eyeliner and concealer. Um, but... This stuff may have changed that for me. It is seriously so subtle, so pretty. It's almost like a candlelit pinky tone. Really gorgeous, very, very subtle. There's no glitter, no shimmer. It's just a glow, a real kind of glow to it. Love it, I think it's amazing. I am so in love with Soap and Glory makeup right now. It's not even legal, it shouldn't be legal. Um, I have the puppies in here and they're chewing something. I'm in a weird mood today. I hope you guys don't think I'm being really odd. Um, anyway, the next face thing is from Illamasqua. Comes in the form of this giant packaging. Like, seriously, this is giant. Um, it's one of their blush duos. I have one of their blush individual... Excuse me, Squidge. Um, I have one of their individual blushes. And I think the packaging is much better on the individual blushes. I don't know something about this massive, chunky packaging. It's just annoying for your makeup bag. However... There's two great colours in here. Um, the first one is Katie. Yeah, yeah, Katie. Um, this is actually really pale, and I think I'll probably wear it a bit more in the winter um, than in the summer. But this colour, Ambition, is really, really stunning. It's a very kind of natural flush colour, but it also has a little bit of shimmer in there too, which makes it just a little bit more glowy, a bit more glam. Love it. Illamasqua blushes are so pigmented, you literally need to, like, touch your brush into it and you're gonna have enough for like a normal blush look so this is probably gonna last me forever um love this and then the other powder product that i want to mention this month is this this is a eyeshadow what would you call it if there's five a quintet not a quartet it's an eyeshadow palette anyway with five colors um it is from the lancome um and alba elbaz I'll, I'll, I have trouble saying that name. He's basically like the creative director dude for Lava, um, which is one of my favourite designers. I own one pair of shoes from them. Like, barely, just nothing basically from them. Um, even though they're one of my favourites because they're really expensive. However, you can get your mitts on some of his kind of like handiwork for much less um, money by buying some of this stuff, which is a collaboration with Lancome. Or Lo Lancome. Lancome is how you meant to say it, I think. Um, he basically doodled all over the packaging um, for their eyeshadows. I love this. This is the Doll Eyes palette. They did a palette and a mascara for each um, of their like Hypnose mascara. This is the Hypnose Star one, which is my favourite Lancome mascara. Um, so he put stars all over it. So they had Star, Baby Doll, just the Lancome Normal, and then I think they had Drama as well. So they had four palettes, four of these, and then four individual eyeshadows and some false lashes. I think that's the whole collection. Anyway, this is my favourite from the collection, apart from the mascara, but the mascara is the same as the normal mascara. Um, it looks like this. Very, very neutral, very shimmery, very pretty, very girly. And I love this because the eyeshadows are very easy to blend. Um, the black is actually really, really nicely heavily pigmented, but the others are easy to work with, soft, smooth. Um, this taupe here is the most beautiful taupe colour. Love it. And then this kind of creamy champagne colour I've been wearing like on an everyday basis, just on my eyelids, and it just adds a real pretty sheen without being kind of too much. If you like wearing eyeshadow but you don't want like a full-on eyeshadow look with like proper like blended colours going on and all that kind of stuff, this is really great. It just is a perfect kind of smoky eye 
It was like a daytime to evening smoky eye look. Really love this a lot. And I've been using the black for eyeliner as well and it stays quite well. So love this and the packaging is very, very cute. I've also actually been really loving um, my Physicians Formula Happy Booster Bronzer. Um, Tati bought this for me when she came over to stay. I've wanted to try the Happy Booster stuff for ages and I've never bought it. It's always one of those things I always look at every time I'm in the States and I go into a drugstore. I will always sit and look at it and be like, hmm. I want one of those um, but she bought me this one which is like the loose how amazing is the packaging for this just to start there's a mirror in there hello um, and it comes with a brush and a pad which I don't use but then it has loose heart shaped bronzer pieces in different shades in here and it also smells amazing it smells like perfume so so nice and when I first got this I was like wow I don't want to use it because it looks so pretty it's like little hearts, well it is little hearts, um, but I actually thought it might be a little bit shimmery, like a bit too shimmery, but it's actually not, it's really nice, it leaves you with a very nice kind of bronzed glow, it's been very sunny this month in England, so um, I have got a little bit more tan, it doesn't look like it now in this video because I look really pale, I think it's the red lips and the white t-shirt, um, but it's just really nice, it kind of adds a bit, if you have a bit of a natural tan going on, it just adds a nice glow. I'm going to love this when I go on my honeymoon, definitely going to take this with me because it's a real kind of beachy, friendly, kind of lovely product. Love this a lot and the packaging is just so cute. So the last kind of makeup thing is my Cinema Secrets brush cleanser. This was also a gift from Tati but before she came over she sent this to me um, a while ago and I didn't use it until she was actually here. Um, partly because I hadn't cleaned any brushes, because I have a lot of makeup brushes, I tend to like wait until they're all dirty. Um, and then I took this away with me when I went to New York, and it honestly is so good. It cleans your brushes way better than the MAC brush cleanser, and it leaves them smelling like sweet, kind of like vanilla. Um, really like it, it's very chemically, like I wouldn't recommend smelling it out of the bottle, because you're like, whoa. Um, but I really like this, and apparently it's not too expensive, I asked Tati about it, because I thought it would be like professional brush cleanser, I thought it would be expensive to buy, kind of, if you're a member of the general public, but, um, it is not, she said it's like a few dollars, I can't remember. Um, I'm not sure if you can get this in the UK, I would have thought you can probably buy it at Screen Face in Covent Garden if you can get it, or I'm sure you can get it online, but um, apparently it's fairly widely available in the States. Love this stuff, really good. I'm not going to be buying MAC brush cleanser again because that's much better. Um, for nails, I have been loving the colour I'm wearing right now. It is from NYC, it is super cheap cheap, it is, I think it's $1.95 for this. It is the colour Blue Sky and it's the perfect kind of Tiffany blue, turquoise type colour. Love this, I think it's really girly and pretty and it makes me happy um, and it is cheap as well which is good. So I've been loving that. And then moving on to body things. There have been two body things I've been loving this month. The first one is the Body Shop Satsuma Shower Gel. My last monthly favourites I did with my friend Tati. Tati's coming up a lot in this video. Um, I filmed it with her and she had her Satsuma body butter in that. And so that kind of like got me onto thinking I need to go to the body shop and get some Satsuma stuff. This scent actually very, very strongly reminds me of my childhood and more specifically my dad. Um, when I was growing up, my dad used to love this stuff and we used to buy him the bath gel for like his birthday every single year, like birthday and Christmas. Um, and I remember I used to get given it like as presents and stuff from my friends and he used to steal it. I used to get so angry at my dad for stealing it. Anyway, um, this stuff smells so good. Uh, and I really like that it's a very kind of thick gel as well, so it's like it lathers nicely, nice to use, love it. I think it's about six pounds. And then last but not least for beauty and makeup stuff, this is like my obsession at the moment, this product is freaking amazing. It is the Rituals Honey Touch Nourishing Body Cream. Oh my good god, it smells delightful. Like I have actually been a big fan of this line, um, or this scent in Rituals for a while, because they have a, like a couple of different scents within the same pink label line. Make sure it's the Indian Rose and Himalaya honey because it smells so good. Anyway, I've liked it for a while. I hadn't actually tried the body cream before, so not only does it smell incredible, but the texture of this is wonderful. It's like so lightweight, yet yeah, almost, it feels almost whipped, um, but it's really, really nourishing on the skin. The scent lingers on your skin. It just feels wonderful. I started using this, I think, maybe two weeks ago, and I've used up like half the pot already. 
it is so 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 good i can't even tell you like i'm actually obsessed with this stuff it's not actually that cheap it's 15 pounds for this pot but i would pay that all day long it's amazing and then i also have a couple of random favorites the first one is um, Barocca Boost. If you guys don't know what Barocca is, if you're not based in the UK, it's kind of like our version of Emergency. It's like a vitamin um, effervescent tablet that you put in water and drink. Um, however, it doesn't really claim to like do anything. It's more just like vitamins, boost your energy. This one in particular, hence the name, is called Boost because it has um, Guarana in it. I don't know how you say that anyway, but um, that's probably right. But it's basically the same stuff. I've noticed with this, it does boost my energy a little bit more than the normal rocker. I don't tend to drink normal rocker. A, because I don't really notice a difference when I use it, although it probably is good for vitamins wise. Um, but B, I hate the taste. Like if I'm feeling really tired or I think I'm going to get ill or if I'm hanging out with people who have a cold or something, I will take it. But I really don't like the taste. This one, however, tastes really good. I don't actually know what flavour it's meant to be. It kind of tastes like, I want to say like papyri, but I think that's the colour because it goes a kind of peachy colour. But honestly, if you guys want to take something like Barocca, but you don't like the taste of the normal ones, um, then this is the best flavour in my opinion. And I've tried them all. The original one is orange and they have tropical and they have berry. Tropical's my favourite out of those. Berry's okay. Orange is disgusting. Um, but this is the best one. Anyway. So my last favourite this month is a fashion favourite, which I don't always put in. Um, I've been loving these sandals, which I bought from River Island this month. I, I actually realised I didn't own any sandals except for one pair which are made out of nude suede, which, let's face it, when you are out and about in the summer, especially in London, you get really dirty feet. Um, even just from like wearing sandals, they're not the most practical and they get really dirty so I'm kind of reluctant to wear them and flip flops tend to cut up my feet a bit so I thought I would find some sandals and these ones caught my eye. They ended up being the most comfortable sandals I've ever owned. Um, I can walk all day in them and they're like super super comfy and I love them, I think they're really fun. Definitely gonna take them with me on my honeymoon um, and yeah I've been wearing them all the time because the weather's been nice this month, I've been wearing them loads. And that is it for my monthly favourites this month. I'm going to do a little bit of a giveaway for you all. Because I'm so excited about this stuff, I've actually bought a brand new pot of this. They're, they actually come sealed as well, which is another thing I like about rituals. They come like with a tin foil kind of seal over the top. Um, I have bought a brand new one of these, which I'm going to be giving away to one of you guys if you want to win it. You know the drill if you've watched YouTube giveaways before. Um, subscribe to my channel, write a comment on this video, and tell me what your favourite beauty product this month has been. Um, I'll then pick one winner at random and I will let you guys know who it is in the info section underneath this video um, once the giveaway closes, which will be in two weeks time. It's open internationally. I'm aware Rituals doesn't actually ship to the US, I don't think. However, you can buy it. That's another thing. If you guys are based in the States or somewhere in the world where they don't have Rituals as a store, or you've never heard of it, um, they do sell it on feelunique.com and they ship free international. So um, I will put a link in the info bar below if you guys want to go and buy from there. If you are determined to try this, I would seriously recommend it. It's amazing. Um, anyway, so all of the terms and conditions for the giveaway will be below. It's open for two weeks internationally and I hope you all enjoyed this i will see you in my next video lots of love bye guys today i am here with a big fat primark haul for you all there's the primark logo Ta -da! um it's actually not that big